Hey there, Marion Elementary students. Mr. Davis here, and we're getting ready to do some math again. We're talking about shapes still, and today's activity is more of kind of like an art activity that you can do with shapes. So what you need to do, you need to get a piece of blank paper. If you have copy paper, you can use it, or blank note paper, whichever you have there at the house. Your crayons, markers, and colored pencils, whichever you have there at the house as well. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a shape flower garden. And the way that we're going to do that is first you're going to draw your landscape and then we're going to do some flowers and the sun and so forth. And we're going to make them out of some shapes. So you're going to be as creative as you want on this. I've done one and I'm going to hold it up for you to see and take a moment to look at. But I don't want you to copy mine exactly. I want you to take the time and look at yours. But you'll be able to notice that I've made the stems and the flowers and so forth all out of shapes. So when you look here, <clears throat> you can see our picture that I've drawn has our sun. Sorry, going into the wrong corner. Our sun is here, and it kind of has the rays coming out of it, but it has a quadrilateral shape. We have flowers that are made up of different shapes combined together. We have some that are just our solid figures. So in our shapes, if you look at our flowers and the leaves on them, they have different ways that we've done the leaves on the flowers as well. So I just want you to take this opportunity and create a flower garden of shapes that is of your own creativity. If you have markers, use those for the outlines and then shade in with your crayons or colored pencils so that we can see the edges and then we'll see where the vertices and the faces are. Have a great time in doing this and I can't wait to see your finished projects. You guys have a great afternoon. Bye.